Okay, to start, we've got three basic tools that we will use. One star head screwdriver that's quite small. Next, flat head screwdriver. Any size is okay because you're not actually using it for screws. And third one, just basic utility knife. We get the notebook or netbook. Release the battery as normal. Take it out. And first to replace the hard drive or upgrade the hard drive, whatever, we need to take out three screws. One, two, they're easy to see. Third one is a little more difficult. It's under, I'm not sure if you can see the little plastic sticker. To remove that, just carefully use the utility knife, slide it under the sticker, peel it off. So, star head screwdriver to remove one, two, three screws. Okay, and after we take out the final screw here, time to use the flat head screwdriver and you'll see there's a metal frame with a little piece sticking out. Just simply stick a flat head screwdriver into here, push back, and the hard drive should slide out. Sometimes it's a little tight, just a little wiggle. And then it's just a matter, take out four screws on the caddy, place the hard drive, and exactly the reverse. Just slide it in and replace one, two, three screws. Now for the memory and keyboard. So first, to remove the keyboard, to access the memory slot, you need to remove four screws. So one, two, three, four. And just like the first one for the hard drive, there's a little black sticker. Just get the utility knife, peel off the sticker, and you can remove all four screws. So when the final screw is removed, just flip it over, open it up. So just carefully lift up the keyboard, but don't lift it too far because it's connected with a ribbon cable underneath. So just lift it maybe an inch, carefully flip it over. And you can see the ribbon cable here. If you're removing the keyboard, there's a little blue tab. Just pull it and the keyboard will come out. But for simply changing the memory, you just leave it in. And to remove the memory, there's just a little metal tab either side. Push them in. And it pops up. Pull the memory out and exactly the reverse to replace. Just push it in and push down to replace the keyboard. Just flip it over and you'll see along this edge there's four little tabs. Just push them in and push the top of the keyboard down. You can close it up again. Flip it over and just four screws back in. One, two, three, four. And when the final screw has been replaced, you can put on the little black stickers again. Sometimes they're a little awkward to get lined up. There's just one there. And the other here. Maybe use the knife just to flatten the edges down. Okay. 
and simply place the battery and you're done. So hopefully this helped some of you out and thanks for watching.